All right, I don't know what that was, but I'm just goofing around here a little bit. Hey, Guthrie Trap here coming to you from, from my house in East Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, I know it's been a minute. I'm back from my vacation. Uh, I needed a vacation from my vacation, so um, I took a road trip and went all over the southeast and visited uh, visited a bunch of friends and family. And, and uh, you know, uh, I learned a lot of stuff on that trip. You know, you I learned that you can't run from the COVID. Uh, everything's pretty much shut down, not just Nashville, which is starting to come back. I must say I'm getting juiced, juiced back up and and inspired and motivated again uh things are looking up i uh, hope everybody's doing good i'm doing good here uh been great to see some some old friends recently and and um and actually get some stuff scheduled i'm doing some stuff at carter vintage guitars later today some demos and stuff and uh some sessions coming in some live gigs are starting to pop up here and there and um just kind of getting back into having some projects which is great um Thank you guys for all the positivity and all the support for for the past you know you know my whole life basically and and uh, and everything that I've been doing lately with the education and stuff it's been very fulfilling and I'm I'm happy to hear that that it's helping some people out there um, and there's much more of that to come um, I feel like I'm getting better as a teacher and and starting to really uh, figure out kind of how to send people on the path of the way that um, you know learning helped me when I was younger as far as uh, really mapping out the fingerboard and seeing the chord shapes and I know you get sick of me saying the the chord shapes the chord shapes but it, 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 it just works you know it, it, it honestly does and and uh, it's a it's a fail-safe way of learning how to play music by feel and by ear and and having some good fundamentals you know uh, a nice balance of those things and so uh, it does come down to the ear in the end and um, you know there's a lot of guys that are asking me uh, questions that that I feel like they kind of want a black and white answer to um, but you know this is music and so there are some things that work and some things that that don't and, and I think that your your ear is the final judge and so you know you know you can't play an, uh, uh, an A uh, major pentatonic uh, shape over everything that doesn't work you, you do have to kind of dig in and if you want to sound like the guys you're listening to you got to kind of dig in and do some work here and so that's where I, where I come in. I'm more of a, of a of a consultant than I am a a teacher in a way. I can send you on the path of the of the things that work and and um, you know it's it's that whole thing I say about taught by a, prof a professional and not a professor because you know um, I I see what me and my friends and my peers in Nashville and, and around the world are using as professional musicians and what we what we really go to to be able to make music and and. Um, and you know it's about getting the momentum going you know when you pick up your guitar don't let this stuff overwhelm you take a you know take this stuff in in chunks in t you know have little snacks of this information don't take on a full meal and and be so full that you got to go lay on the couch for uh, uh you know hours and hours while your food digests i mean take take little bits and pieces of this stuff that you can use and then have fun you know um, make yourself a little schedule you know um uh you know, uh, pick up the guitar and say, okay, I'm going to jam out and, and rock out and, and, and do the stuff I've been doing for the past uh, 20 years. And then, and then I'm going to kind of zone in and go, okay, look, I kind of feel this way today. I'm going to go, you know, like uh, to the key of E and I'm going to, I'm going to stay in that key for 10 or 15 minutes, make a conscious effort to, to, to have a little structure in your, in your practicing and uh, use a metronome, play along to records, play along to a drum machine, anything you can do to kind of help hold yourself accountable and not just flail away and i see a lot of guys that are they'll start noodling around and, and they might start in one key and before you know it they're in a completely different key and that's really not what we're going for we need to kind of hold ourselves accountable to being able to start training our ear to you know play over some chord progressions look at what it means to go from the one four one chord to the four chord to the five chord uh try messing around with the with uh you know a, a cool uh, uh relationship to get down is like the the my uh minor to the five seven you know you know that that's a really cool sound That's a really cool thing to do. A 
that's a cool relationship to start messing around with because blues just doesn't work over that five chord. Um, and so here's another thing, you know, enough talking. I wanted to uh, show you just a little, a little snippet of a, of a, a exercise that um, a buddy told me was real helpful to him. And so uh, I want to, I want to share that with you a little bit of it. I'm not going to go into all of it because this is part of the way I make my living folks. I know, you know, I, I got to say it. Luckily I don't have you know, banners and arrows and all that stuff. You'll never get any slicker than this right here with me, folks. So, um, you know, the thing about that is, is I just use, do the, I do these videos on my iPhone and it sounds good enough and looks good enough for me. And, um, if you want to dig in deeper to, uh, to any of these concepts, this stuff on YouTube is not meant to be a full free curriculum up here. I mean, so, um, I have Artist Works, which is the full curriculum, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, please check out that. It's a fantastic company in Napa, California, and they've got professionals teaching music. Um, they've got country electric guitar that I teach. They've got blues, jazz, bluegrass, all different instruments, all different genres, taught by some of the best on the planet. And um, I'm lucky to be part of that family and uh, with them out there. Anyway, check that out. I got all the links below. You got to, you know, I have to say that. And uh, if you want to schedule a private lesson with me, I do our master classes on uh, Skype and Zoom. And you can go to my website to book any of that stuff. You can schedule your own times and book everything. Uh, all, and that's at GuthrieTrap.com. Please follow me on Instagram. Check out Facebook, all that stuff. I got to say it. And so I'm going to get into this cool thing in just a second. Um, and so, yeah, you know, check those things out. That's a way to take any of these little concepts I'm showing you and really dig in with, if you do the artist works, you have the um, opportunity to do a uh, video exchange with me where uh, you send me a video of your progress uh, or any questions you have, and I'll sit here and respond with a video we, we, that you get in your queue. And so it's pretty cool. And, um, and check that out with the masterclass uh, personal one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. Uh, you get uh, also the full video on Skype and Zoom. Of course, we can record the whole thing, which is crucial because if without the video, I wouldn't even do these lessons because um, when I take lessons, uh, I only remember, you know, one or two cool things that I can remember and relate to stuff, something that I already know. And then the rest of it is all new information. So these days we have to take advantage of, of technology and use the videos. That's my spiel on that. Okay, thanks for putting up with that. And, uh, and let's get into this lesson. So this little lesson uh, teaser, I'm going to start calling it that. Um, this is a, a way to start looking at, um, okay, we need to learn all this stuff, you know, these chord shapes and all the information around those. We need to learn it vertically, but then we need to start connecting it horizontally. If I, if I start the, the, the G major scale down here, I'm starting on this high G and I'm ending on this one, you know, octaves down. And so we want to be able to shift with that first finger and, and start connecting uh, this stuff, uh, you know, uh, horizontally. So this is a pretty good exercise to do that. And it's basically, a, we're going to go to the key of C and we're going to do an arpeggio. But we're going to do it over the A shape, into the G shape, into the E shape, and then up to the D shape. So we're covering all those shapes, but we're going to start on the one, three, five, one, three, five, one, three, and then back down. Three, one, five, three, one, five, three, one. So without me talking over that, that sounds like this. You can see right there. We've already just played right out of that nice, out of that nice A shape to G shape. That's the idea that we'll get to in a minute, but, but you know, playing through these shapes. So that's, and then the same thing repeating itself. Go up to that high third. Okay, that's the foundation of this exercise. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chord shape, and I'm just gonna take the two notes around it. This is breaking these big chord shapes down into into usable parts right all that stuff's right out of the chord which is what I preach because I know it works and so um 
when I take this uh, C chord and just play these two notes, the third and the one, and I'm not going to break this down like I would in a lesson. I'm going to, I'm showing you this idea, right? Just, and, and that we're not going to get too, you know, note for note here. So the idea is harmony, uh, harmony here, five and third, one and five. We're just playing out of the chord shapes. So those are just two strings at a time, right? Those two strings. So uh, A and D string, G and D string, B and G string, out of that shape. G and B string in the E shape. One and five, then uh, on the E and B string, then one and uh, one and three on the E and B string. It's a great way to map out these chord shapes going up the neck, right? So that you know, when you see that, right? It starts turning into something that sounds a little bit more like music, right? Right, you start seeing these. You start seeing all these chords and stuff come together. So again, you can do this going through the one, four, five, uh, C, F, and G. I'll do this exercise. Let's see. So if I go to C here, it's just a different inversion. I'm going from the E shape now. All right, go to F. that's the idea so uh check that out friends that's a pretty cool way to start learning how to bridge some of these together you can look at that as an arpeggio harmonized or you can look at it as um even the pentatonic shape right so basically we're using the chord as the foundation the arpeggio is the first level of the framework the pentatonic is the second level of the framework and the scale is the third level of the framework so you could actually look at this as the scale too all that stuff's the same hey thanks so much friends check out the links uh, below i gotta say that thanks to everybody for the positive comments and um you know, out of hundreds of comments, there's usually only one bad one here and there. And so I just uh, usually delete that and block the person. And uh, I rock on, right? There's no uh, room for any negativity these days. I'm trying to weed out the bullshit, folks. Okay, so look, thanks again. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. And uh, I promise uh, more videos to come. All right, see you guys later. <laughs>